Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Let's pop a beverage of your choice. Because today we are going to be reviewing another beast of a book. Which would be... Green Arrow, The Longbow Hunters, book two, published by DC. And this finishes up Mike Grell's run on Green Arrow. It's got 1,400 and about 30, 35 pages. And, oh, wow. Uh, I remember when Longbow Hunters came out. It was uh, 87. And I picked up the first two, the, the miniseries. And I really liked it. And then I had to go, you know, boot camp and all this other stuff. And got an issue or two during the time. And I thought they were pretty good. But uh, never, you know, never wound up getting any more. And I've heard so much about these books. Uh, and managed to get these books on sale for like $15 more than the birthday check my mom gave for me and read them. And these are incredible. Number one and number two. Uh, in looking into it, uh, I had heard number two was not as good as number one. And for the most part, I agree. Uh, this series is basically it's him and Diana moving to Seattle, uh, opening up a floral shop, and he starts using real arrows. And doing basically street level, going after street level criminals, you know, uh, serial killers, you know, sex traffickers, all this other stuff. And it really started out that way. And every once in a while, they would throw in uh, Shadow, I think her name was, the, 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 uh, uh, Archer from the two-part miniseries. Uh, throw in a story with her and throw in a story with the CIA guy coming to get Oliver to help him with whatever. Usually something out of the country or some messed up you know, undercover CIA other agency, you know, from other countries and stuff, stories. But then once you get to number two, that has started happening a lot more. Uh, he, after a kind of a, a story that he, a little thing that he, he got involved with, he leaves to go on basically what's like a walkabout for a year. Oh no! Wait, that was in the first book. Anyway, uh, but uh, in the in this book, they spend a lot of time with stuff that doesn't take place in Seattle. It's more uh, a couple of uh, stories with the CIA guy uh, doing, you know stuff like in Canada and overseas uh, there is one 
with a really long multiple issue run dealing with IRA gun runners being involved with Indian separatists in Canada. I don't want to say Native Americans because, you know, it's in Canada. But uh, yeah, just these really long stories that, you know, it's like, what what is Oliver doing getting involved with this type of stuff? I mean, that's not something that a street-level superhero would be getting involved in. But, uh, but then they throw in these really good stuff with you know, the street level things and you also have a really interesting relationship with uh, there's a a girl they met in the first book who she was homeless, and I think she was she was she was homeless, and helped them, Diana and Oliver, with solving some sort of messed up crime. And they they're like, okay, look, uh, we want to help you out, and they so they hire her to work at uh, Sherwood Florist, and. She kind of starting out as hero worship, Oliver, and she winds up falling in love. So there's there's a I, kind of a triangle between her, Diana, and Oliver. So that's kind of an interesting little story. Uh, and we have you know we we have a lot of stories that. Someone of Oliver's persuasion on politics would go after, you know, because he's, you know, kind of a 60s radical. And so he'd, he'd, you know, go after this stuff. And so it, it, it had a kind of tendency to get a little preachy, but nowhere near like what it is these days. So, I mean, and that's, that's kind of what's good. But, you know, some of these, some of these stories, you're just like, dude, why are you getting involved with this when it's supposed to be like crime, street level crime and stuff, not, you know, international, you know, relations between, you know, the Mossad and the IRA and some general from the former East Germany and stuff like that. But, uh, I'm still glad that I read the book because uh, it was a re overall just a really good series. And you know, a lot of people I've talked to said that that is probably the seminal and best run of Green Arrow ever done. And I like, I mean, I, I, overall, I just am really glad that I picked up this series. <clears throat> Even though the second one isn't as good as the first. And there's places in here that I recognize because I've spent some time in Seattle. I have family down there and was stationed just across the bay from Seattle in, in Bremerton. So I, you know, go over there and hang out and stuff, but... Uh, I'm going to give this, you know, the story is really well written. The art is really good. And, you know, you have the little uh, running plot thread throughout both books of... Uh, what you are you going to be how are you going to be remembered you know the the relationship between him and diana as to you know wanting to get married and 
you know, with kids, and he wound up having a kid with the other, with the Asian woman. Uh, so the whole, what that does to Diana and his relationship and their outlook on things. So it's just a really well-constructed overall story. And uh, with some good art to carry through with the story. So I'm going to give this a... I'm going to give it a 3.75 because it wasn't as good as the as the first book, but still fairly enjoyable. So uh, if you want to read the best Green Arrow stories, just pick these up. Uh, one and two. This had a... Uh, what do you call it? A... Ninety nine ninety nine, uh, was it? Yeah, ninety nine ninety nine, cover price, I think. At least that's what it says here on the back. Or maybe I don't know. Hold on. No. Anyway, they're worth it. They're worth it, especially if you can get them on sale. So, 3.75. Great series. Pick it up. Read it. You'll enjoy it. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below whether you read it, what you thought of it. And uh, like, subscribe. And most of all, enjoy your comics.